Welcome to another review by Fishog. Today I'm reviewing the second book in the Razorland series called Outpost by um, Anna Guire. Now the first book was called Enclave and go to this uh, video if you want to hear me kind of review that book and discuss that book. And uh, yeah, I loved Enclave. I thought it was brilliant. I was really excited for the second book. So Outpost. Uh, again, this book takes you on an emotional <laughs> ride. It's a very good book. I'm not sure whether I prefer book one or book two. There were certain things in the first book I loved, yet there were good parts in this book too. I'm still not sure. Um, so like, it's such a harsh YA, like just like a stark reality. It's so, um, it's a, a mature YA, like it's not for a younger audience. It's like so devastating at times. And for the whole book, I was on tender hooks, just waiting for that big bad thing to happen, because I knew their happiness couldn't last. I knew something awful was going to happen. In the second book, I loved Stalker. He was just—he changed so much from the first book, and Fade was still, you know, sweet and everything, but he was a little bit too possessive for my liking in this book. So in the second one, they're kind of in this new little town, new society. And at the beginning, Juice and Stalker, they just they don't really like it there. And throughout the book, then you know they start getting to know everyone and getting to know the place. And it's really nice to see that kind of journey they go through. And um, obviously, those zombies slash mutants are still around, and they're really scary. And there's you know sad parts and like the third book now is going to be another big change because like there was a big change from the first to the second. And at the second to the third, there's going to be a big change as well. Um, I think the third book is the last one, and if the author plans on going out with a big bang, I say it's going to be like just again so like dramatic and emotional and exciting. Like these two books were. It is a very devastating world, but it's a little bit depressing then as well. Like there's that depressing feel over it at the same time. Deuce is a really good character. She's mature and. She, um, you know, she's so brave in these situations. But sometimes I'm like, why does this like young fifteen year old girl have to have to be like at the forefront of all these fights? She needs a break, but she won't give herself a break, which is the sad part. I enjoy this book. It's very kind of like post apocalyptic, dystopian, tragic, actiony, exciting book. And if you like the first one, you're going to like this one and all the characters. And um, if possible, I think it's even better. It's a very good read. I recommend it. Um, there's just something that put me back from giving it a 3 out of 3. I gave it 2.5. Probably because it's a bit depressing. But uh, I am looking forward to the next one. It'll probably be a bit of a long wait. And uh, so that's my spoiler free review. So now I'm going to do a quick spoiler review, and if you haven't read this book, I suggest you switch off now. Did you not just grow to love Mama Oaks and Edmund in this book? They were just so nice and sweet, and I felt so bad for them, because Deuce had to volunteer for every awful job, and they were just put through the ringer, and again now she's going off because of the stupid women of the town blaming her for their problems, and she's just volunteering to go off and do more dangerous, dangerous missions. And I'm going to miss Mama Oaks and Edwin and I feel like this big attack is coming and I was really afraid they were going to die in the second book they didn't but maybe in the third one to make extra depressing. Um, so the third one they're going to be off doing more kind of changing sceneries because the second book was all lit kind of in the same place. Um, I wouldn't mind if Tegan stayed behind it, not Mazo Tegan. I do like Stalker, as I said he got even more likeable than the second book. Fade is so... It's so sad what happened to our sweet fade, like, no one characters are like traumatised in books and they're like catatonic and like, ah, oh, come on, get over it, because you've read so many books and it's not that big a deal what they've been through. But in this book, you can understand the way he acts after what he's seen. It is just the most traumatic, horrible thing ever. Um, so it is sad that he couldn't be near Deuce, but I do feel sorry for him. Um, and he's going to be in the third book now, travelling around with her and Stalker, which isn't going to help things. 
Uh, I knew their happiness couldn't last, why couldn't they stay happy? But anyway, um, oh, saddest death ever was a long shot. Again, he's that character who just snuck in there and made you love him, and it's all these like little subtleties. I just gave himself up to you know, give the others time. And so many people died in this book, I think his, his death was the saddest for me. So they are kind of my main points about the book. Uh, third one's going to be a lot different. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. And uh, hopefully something good will happen so we don't get us all depressed. But um, that's my review for today on Outpost. Let me know what you think about it. And thank you very much for watching.